Ahoy there makers, let's take a look at the brand new Badger 2040W. So the Badger 2040W is a hackable programmable badge with an e-ink display with Wi-Fi connectivity and it's powered by the Raspberry Pi Pico W. The Badger 2040W sports a 296 by 128 black and white e-ink display. It has five programmable buttons, a Raspberry Pi Pico W aboard on the back, it's ultra low power and it now has Wi-Fi. So here's some of the features in detail. So it has a 2.9 inch black and white ink display, like we said, with 296 by 128 pixels. It's ultra wide viewing angles, just like a Kindle, very, very easy to be see from all angles. It's ultra low power consumption. In fact, when you press the button and it refreshes the display, it actually powers off in the background, meaning that this battery lasts a very long time. The dot pitch is 0.227 by 0.226 millimeters. It has the Raspberry Pi Pico W aboard on the back, which is the dual ARM Cortex M0 Plus running at 133 megahertz with 264K of RAM. It also has an additional two meg of QSPI flash so you can store all your files and images and things on there in your eBooks. It's powered and programmable by the USB micro B connector, which is actually on the Raspberry Pi Pico W. It has the 2.4 wireless that the Pico W brings to this. It has five user buttons on the front. You've got the ABC. You've also got these sort of up and down buttons on the right hand side. On the back, it's got a reset button as well, so very easy to flash this if you need to. It has a white LED next to the little heart icon on the bottom left there, and that can just show you that it's doing some kind of activity. And it also has a JST PH connector for attaching battery, so you can have uh, between 2.7 volts and 5.5 volts there. It also has the Quest connector, that's the quick STEM QT connector for additional functionality. And it also has a dedicated real time chip for deep sleep and wake functions. So that means it can carry on updating the time in the background when it wakes up. It knows what time it is and it comes fully assembled no soldering required so about the pico w aboard our new pico w aboard products come with a built-in raspberry pi pico w and that means you get all the advantages of the rp2040 microcontroller a really fast dual core arm processor with a dynamic ecosystem and a choice of different programming methods to experiment with and most excitingly the pico w brings with it wireless connectivity which means we can communicate with other devices and also the internet so with the Quest connector, we can add even more things to our Badger 2040W. So this means we can add extra sensors like weather sensors, temperature sensors, and so on to bring our projects to life. And breakout garden breakouts that don't have the Quest connector can also be connected with a JST to JST cable plus our Quest to breakout garden adapter. So from a software perspective, you can use our C++ and MicroPython support. And Badger W ships with the preloaded MicroPython with our Badger OS suite and some examples that this is a really nice touch with the Badger W. To enable the Badger W to connect to the internet, you do need to edit the Wi-Fi underscore config.py and you can use Thonny to do that just on a, on a regular computer. And if you want to get back to the home screen, the launcher, just press the A and C buttons at the same time just for a couple of seconds and you'll see it refresh. And you can also draw on the screen using our lightweight Pico graphics library, which can help draw text, shapes, images, or individual pixels if you like and we provided some examples to get you started on that too. You can also get the Badger in the accessory kit form as well. So you get the Badger 2040W, you get two batteries, the AAA batteries, the AAA battery holder, you get some nice Velcro squares so you can attach this to the back of the badge, and you also get a nice black lanyard, which is also made from recycled bottles, which is cool. And you also get a USB-A to USB micro B cable as well. So Badger OS, this is a really nice touch from Pimroni. This comes pre-installed on the Badger 2040W. It shows you the amount of space storage that you have left on your device. And it also comes with a number of apps, including the clock, the fonts, which is really nice. We'll have a look at that in a minute. The ebook reader, and you can surprisingly store quite a number of books on this. There's a help function. There's an image, so you can store a number of images on there. There's a QR generator, so you can generate QR codes. If you're in a convention, you could have your, your email address or your website URL on there. People can take the phone out and take a picture of that and link directly to it. There's the list, the badge function, and also there's now a news and weather and network info, which you use the internet to grab data. Some things to note. So measurement wise, this is 85.6 millimeters by 48.7 millimeters by 10 millimeters thick. And there are some mountain holes as well, which are the M2.5 and they're three millimeters in from each edge. And the cord radius on the Badger is three millimeters. So the Badger W is fairly accommodating for input voltages. You can go from 2.7 to 5.5. So even if your battery is a little bit low, it can certainly get the juice from that. And it's possible to use a different variety of batteries as well. So you can use the uh, two times AAA batteries and the pack fits 
sits nicely behind the badge and it will also work with rechargeable NIMH batteries as well but we recommend using the three AAA battery pack. So alternatively you can use the LiPo Lion batteries as well and you can plug that into the JST connector on the back. Please only consider this if the person that wearing the badge understands the, the nature of LiPo batteries and a solid enclosure or back plate to protect the battery from damage while it's being worn is a really good idea. We provide the Gallium batteries in our store which have got the hard case so check those out as well. There's no battery protection on the Badger W so you should only use LiPo batteries that include the internal protection and all of ours do. Badger W doesn't have a battery charging circuitry on board so it's safe to use alkali or lipo batteries but you will need to have an external lipo charger like the lipo amigo to charge up that battery when it's not in use so the badges on board real-time clock means that we can go into a super deep sleep mode which uses hardly any power at all and this turns off the power that drives the pico w when it's not being used and the display completely which means that there's hardly any power being used whatsoever and it can be woken back up by the real-time clock by pressing the buttons on the front or if the clock timer wakes it up and you can also read the real-time clock to get the time of course as well Okay, let's go for a demo, shall we? So here we are, I've got the Badger W in front of me, and this is the new Badger OS uh, with the new apps installed. You can see there's a couple of extra options on the right hand side there. If I press the up and down button, we can toggle through those. So these are the ones that we previously seen but on the next one we have net info and then the last page we have a couple of new ones which is the news qr generator and weather so if i press the weather what it will now do is it will connect to the internet um you'll see there it says connecting okay so that's now connected it's got an ip address which we can just see under there and it's now giving me the weather from my local location we can press the a and c buttons to return to the main menu and we can try out the news now when i press this we get the little indicator there to show me that there's some activity and once again it's just going to connect to the local wi-fi it's got the ip address there and now we've got a qr code and we can cycle through the different pages there to see what the different news items are and if we press the abc buttons i think we cycle through different news articles as well i named a cockroach after my <laughs> my ex for valentine's day and an asteroid caught on camera soaring above the english channel now we've got some other one there about Watchdog cracking down on crypto. David Goethe says future of music is in AI and scammer profits from Turkey Syria earthquake. There we go. So we can now jump back to the main page. When I press the, the buttons on here, you'll see that activity light come on for a second. If I press the net info, so you can see there the IP address, the subnet, the gateway, the DNS. Let's check out the badge. If we press on that, we can now get the badge up. So there we go. That's reading the image and the text from configuration file on the badger. So this is the ebook reader. We can page through the text just by pressing the up and down button on here. And we've got the Wind in the Willows book on here as well. So now the font app, this is quite a nice one. So this is the fonts app. You can see all the different fonts available. We've got Sans there. We have Gothic. We have Cursive, Serif. We have Serif Italic. This is bitmap 6, this is bitmap 8, and we have bitmap 14 outline as well. So the image app, you can load up um, a number of images on there. I don't think I've got any loaded at the moment. Nope, it's saying there. The add images, connect the Badger 2040 to a PC, load up Thonny, and see the readme in the images folder. We've got an example one there of the, uh, the Badger, the Cyberpunk Badger. Next up, we've got the info. We press the info button, made by Pimroni, powered by MicroPython. Got some detailed specs of the uh, the processor there, and there's more information. Go to the Badger 2040W page. And we can basically page between the different columns. We can move up and down, and we can tick off items that we want to say that we've, we've done. So I've just ticked off the Badger one there. So the QR gen, this is just a way of generating QR codes. It says there to add a QR code, connect to the Badger 2040W to a PC, load up Thonny, and uh, edit the text file. You can see there there's an example badger 2040 and you can scan that code to learn more about the badger 2040 and if we flip this over we can see i've taken off the uh the little dots that hold this battery in place that's where they go got the nice artwork on the back there we've got the pico w on board with the jst ph connector and we've got the quick connector over here and there's the reset button as well 
So if you like these kinds of videos and you want to see more electronics and robots projects with Raspberry Pi and MicroPython, then head over to my channel on YouTube. It's youtube.com slash kevinmacalier28 and you'll find all kinds of projects there too. So I hope you enjoyed this product intro and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.